Hello, I'm Mark Mazaros. I'm Vice President of Carolina Biological, but I'm also trained as organic chemist, and I spent two years teaching high school chemistry. I want to share one of my demonstrations with you. It's called Mom Rainbow. And this is kind of a neat demonstration that you can use several different times during the year because it teaches a lot of different concepts in this one simple demonstration. I used it during acid-base theory and talking about pH indicators. I also use it during solubility and also during equilibrium and kinetics. So there's like five core topics you can use this same demonstration. Each time bringing in and having the students look at it slightly differently. So, what do I need for this demonstration? First of all, I need milk and magnesia. An acid, I can use a sulfuric acid, one molar, or a vinegar. I need water and universal indicator. A 600 milliliter uh, flask, beaker, a stir plate with the stir bar, and I'm going to be using some ice also because I want to slow down the reaction a little bit. So these are the primary things you need. Now, safety. Because we're using universal indicator, universal indicator is an ethanol-based solution. Ethyl alcohol is a flammable liquid. It's also toxic by ingestion and inhalation. Make sure there's no flames or hot surfaces anywhere around here when we're doing this demonstration. We also want to make sure that we have good ventilation in the lab and that we do not ingest this. So after we're done using this, it's going to go back into the storeroom. The acids are corrosive materials. We need to be wearing our safety glasses, our safety goggles. And this one right here, I'm also going to be using gloves just to make sure I don't splash anything on my hands because they are so corrosive. The secret to this demonstration is really magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is a strong base, but it's almost insoluble. The solubility of magnesium hydroxide is about 0.01 grams per liter. So a very small amount of this goes in solution. When it does go in solution, you form a magnesium plus two ion and two hydroxide ions. So to get this thing set up, I'm going to add some water. You can use tap water or DI water to a beaker. Shake the milk of magnesia. Add about 10 or 15 milliliters to it. You notice a nice milky suspension. Now, I want to add a little bit of ice to this to cool it, start cooling it down. Add a swig of universal indicator, it's going to turn a very deep purple. Universal indicator is really a mixture of various pH indicators. At neutral, around pH 7, it's green. At a basic pH, such as a pH 10, it's going to be purple. At an acidic pH, it's going to be more of an orange or reddish color. And I'm going to now add acid to this suspension of magnesium hydroxide. And I want you to watch very carefully what's going to happen. You saw the color go a little bit over to the orange. I'm going to add actually a little bit more, pushing it all the way over to a very acidic orange yellow, having it come through to the greens, the aquas, going to go over to the blue. And as your magnesium hydroxide continues to dissolve, your pH is going to creep up to a 8, 9, until you get back to that pH of 10, where the purple color is again. Let me show you it also works with vinegar. Just need a little bit bigger swig, but it works just fine with vinegar. As I'm adding the acid, what's occurring is the acid is reacting with the available hydroxide ions in solution. And so the pH of this is going to go all the way down to a three or a four. And that's where you see the orange color. Oh, now it's really slow. We know we're at the end point where there's nothing else happening when it's now more of a clear solution where you can see through it. And right now I can pretty much see through most of it. 
Most of the magnesium hydroxide is gone. If I want to do it again and repeat it for my class, all I have to do is this. Add a little bit of the magnesium hydroxide. We're now going to refresh those hydroxide ions, move it back to the green into the purple range again. The first reaction that we're doing is simply starting with magnesium hydroxide, which is a solid, and putting it in water to give you magnesium plus two ions and hydroxide ions. Both of these are now aqueous. This is very slow. For the most part, this exists as magnesium hydroxide solid in suspense, suspension floating around solution. This is in solution maybe 0.01 grams per liter. So we have available OH in solution. When that is in solution, we are going to see a very bright, vibrant purple color because the universal indicator is purple when it's basic. The other reaction we have is we're going to add an acid, which is going to react with the base to give water. These are both aqueous. The water is now going to be a liquid. This happens very fast. What happens initially is there is more acid that's added than there is hydroxide available. So this is going to be a, the orange color that we see. And now that all of this is gone, we are going to push this reaction this direction using Le Chatelier's principle. If this is gone, the reaction goes this direction. This OH here can then continue to react with the hydrogen ion here until all of this is gone. This now builds up, and the pH goes from the orange to the green to the aqua, blue, and purple until you have a pH of 10. This demonstration, again, I think is a great way to teach solubility. It's a great way to teach acid basis. It's also a great way to teach equilibrium Le Chatelier's principle. These are valuable concepts we have to teach in general chemistry and AP chemistry. This demonstration can be used multiple times during the year to teach a different concept. Of course, it works best with Carolina Chemicals and maybe the milk and magnesia purchase at your local store. But please, we'd love to have your business. We hope you do this uh, demonstration soon in your classroom. Thank you very much for watching this video. The instructions for this activity and more videos will be available online at carolina.com resources.